What's up YouTube, Jason Wardrop here and in this video we're going to talk about branding for your business, how to go through and get maximum awareness with Facebook ads, Facebook branding because I believe it is the number one most cost effective way to go through and build your brand and grow your business. Now last week we did a YouTube live and I had several of you guys asking questions about how to build your brand for your business and I kind of explained the concept and strategy and everything on that live stream. However, I figured I'd go through, break down an exact step-by-step -step tutorial showing you guys exactly what I do. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to give you the high-level overview of what I do. I'll show you guys the exact ads, everything, and then I'll show you guys how to actually implement it and apply it into your business. All right now, if you guys are brand new here to the channel and if you guys have not gotten my free Facebook ads mini course, just drop a comment down below and I'll go through and I'll share that with you guys. It covers the basic of basics of Facebook ads. So the Facebook ads manager, the pixel tracking, retarding, all the different stuff that you really need to get a jump start into Facebook advertising. And also one other quick announcement before we dive into this, I just launched a brand new blog. I know I didn't think I'd ever get into blogging, but I just launched it this week. I thought it'd be kind of fun talking about passive income and growing your passive income, some different passive income strategies. So um, I'll add the link down in the description below. It's also it's just my name, jasonwardrop.com. So it's not completely done. So uh, go check that out though. I've got some different strategies and show you guys some different passive income strategies that I do and that you can go through and implement as well. Right, so I think that's everything we need to cover in this start of this video, but let's dive into actually building your brand, how to do it the most cost effective way, leveraging Facebook advertising, Instagram marketing. You can use both platforms, okay? So the first thing that I do is I go through and I set up a video, okay, where you can see this one right here on your screen where I'm basically just, it's like a two minute video. Let's we'll just so hit play here. A a okay, ago. this one's almost five minutes long, but it doesn't need to be long, two to five minutes, telling about yourself, your business, how you got into your business, why you even do your business, and just giving a quick overview about who you are, what you do, and just the basics. And if you look at this right here, this first part, it just says, hey, my name is Jason Wardrop, specialized in real estate lead generation. So I'm basically telling everything that I'm saying in the video just right here in this short excerpt and if you look at this I actually don't have any call to action okay there's no link there's no like there's nothing else getting them to go through and buy something opt into a landing page click to my website my goal is I just want to keep them on Facebook right here okay now the reason why I want to do this is because I'm gonna run an ad which I'll show you guys here in a little bit how to do to go through and get video views so Facebook has so much data that they know the people that are in your audience, whether you're doing this for a local business or for a national business, an international business, whatever type of business it is, they know the people in that demographic who are more likely to watch a video. Okay, so you can actually get video views for just one cent. So I'll just prove that to you guys right up here. So you can see right here, this is the ad set pushing that video, this one right here. And I'm getting views for just one cent. That's per three second video view. So, you know, that's not the best video view. I like to usually go for 10 seconds or someone who's watched 25 or 50 percent of the video. But that's that's like the most cost effective thing you could possibly do. Okay, because if we come back over here and we look, that's 551,000 views, 108 shares, 156 comments. And if you're thinking about getting that type of exposure on a billboard or a magazine or a newspaper or anything like that, it's going to cost you significantly more, right? Now, the cool thing is, is once we go through, and once again, I'm just giving you guys the high level overview of what we're doing here to go through and build this brand awareness. And then I'm going to show you guys actually how to do it at, towards the end of this video, right? So um, we go through, we shoot a quick video, two to five minutes telling about us, our business, we run a video view campaign and you could really put as much money as you want behind that five, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever it is, and go get exposure in your local community or nationally or internationally based off your specific segment, your specific interest of people that might be interested in your business. And then everyone who watches this video, it's like, let's say everyone who watches 10 seconds of this video or everyone that watches 25% of this video or half of this video we can actually build a custom audience inside of Facebook 
So basically, Facebook will track everyone who has watched the video and then we can create another ad and only show that ad to people who have already watched the video. Now guys, this is super powerful because these people already have seen your face like right here. They've already seen my face and if you guys are, have this massive fear of being on, on camera or whatever, you're just gonna have to get over it. I was in the same position back a couple of years ago and I just keep shooting videos, keep shooting videos to become more and more natural. It's still kind of a little bit weird every time I turn on the camera, but you'll get over it. So they, they've now seen your face already. So when you go through and show them another ad, they've seen your video and they've heard about your story, who you are, what you do, and why they're even seeing that ad. Okay, so for an example of what this ad looks like, so I've got this one right here. This one actually has a link. Okay, so remember this one doesn't have a link. This is just more of an intro story-based video. And then this one right here, it actually has a link of where I want them to go and opt into. Okay, and you can see this one right here. This one's got a massive amount of likes, comments, shares, all that stuff. And if you look at the cost per lead here, so right here, this is $4.88 per lead for my webinars, which just to kind of put that in perspective with the relevance score of eight, which anything pretty much seven and above is pretty much the goal and that's where you want to be. But 488, put that in perspective, typically I like to shoot for anything between eight to ten dollars per lead on webinar registrations. So using this strategy, you can literally cut your cost per lead in half by using the strategy of people like warming them up with this video views campaign first. Okay, and I know it seems kind of counterintuitive because you're spending money to get people to watch the video but that person's so much more qualified and you're building your brand, you're building that exposure, that awareness, everything, and then you're remarketing to people who've already watched that video with an ad that looks just like this and then you're sending them to a basic landing page, okay? So something like, let's say like this, or I work with a lot of real estate agents, so a landing page looks like this. They come in, put in their name, email, phone number, hit submit, and they become a lead in your business, right? So guys, that is the basic overall concept and strategy. So let me just jump in and I wanna show you guys inside the ads manager how to actually go through and set all of this up. So I'm just gonna come over here to my demo account for you guys. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a custom audience. Well, the first thing you wanna do is go through and shoot a quick little video right here. And I shot, this one's in my car. I did one in my family room, I did one in my kitchen, just different backgrounds. For some reason, people like the one in my car with my sunglasses on, it just it, it got a lot more people actually watching and engaging and interacting with the video. So you can try a few different, I'm literally saying the same thing in all the different videos, I'm just changing up my background. So you guys can test a few different backgrounds, see what it looks like. But once you've shot this video, you've posted on your Facebook page, you want to come over here to the ads manager and we're going to first create a campaign for video view. So all we're going to do is go over here, click on create. Oop, we're at the ad set level. We're going to start over. We're going to come back up here to ads manager. Okay. So we're at campaigns. Make sure you're on campaigns. I was on ad sets. That's why it didn't work as well. Uh, we click on create and then we click on this video views right here. And then we can give it a name, whatever you want. This is obviously a demo, so I'm not going to give it a name right here. We hit continue and then let's say that you're in a local market and guys this works if you're a real estate agent if you own a you know a gym a local gym if you're a dentist chiropractor really whatever business that you're in and could it be a local business could be an international business whatever it is and let's just come down here and say that we live in we'll say we're in Omaha Nebraska today okay so we'll say Omaha Nebraska we just click on this right here and if you want to go through and expand that network, so you want like a 25 mile radius because you're like willing to go through and work that far out, great. If you want to go through and lower that or make it higher, or you could just say, hey, I only want people actually in Omaha. Like let's say you're a restaurant and people probably aren't going to drive 20 to 30 minutes to your restaurant. You could say just people right within Omaha, Nebraska. And then we'll say instead of everyone in this location, I a lot of times, well, if you're a restaurant, you probably want that. But if I'm a local business like a chiropractor, dentist, real estate agent, loan officer, I want people who live in this location. The reason why I want people who live in this location is because 
if someone's just passing through or traveling or whatever, they're probably not going to come to me as a dentist or a chiropractor or a real estate agent or anything like that. So I just go like that. You can see it's 450,000 people because Omaha is a little bit smaller city compared to some of the bigger other big cities out there. And then we come down and we just choose age range. So let's say our age range, like our typical customers are 27 and older. Okay, that's typically what I recommend for the real estate agents that I work with. And then the language, I'll just leave that as is, detailed targeting as is, because what we want to do, this is branding, guys. So we want to go through and build, cast this massive wide net to this audience. And then we'll see who sticks based on who's going to actually watch that video. And most of our targeting is done by the people who actually watch the videos because if they're gonna watch the video, that means they're more interested than the next person who's not actually gonna watch the video, right? So we just come down here and then you can do automatic placements. They say recommended. When you're going through and branch this out, like casting this wide net, I usually like to do edit placements and I usually just like to do the Facebook news feeds. Okay, so everything else, I'll come down and uncheck and you could think like, oh, well, Instagram would be great. The only thing about Instagram is they usually don't let you have longer videos. Okay, so it's got to be a really short video. So I like to have, you know, two to five minute video. Keep it on the Facebook, the mobile and desktop news feeds. And then we'll come down here and your budget really is up to you. Like my, my one post right here, I'm spending $50 per day, which is actually pretty insignificant to the amount of money I spend each day, but for some people, fifty dollars in a day that might seem like a lot of money. So um, just starting out, I would maybe start out around five to ten dollars per day. So we'll just say ten dollars per day. Okay, seventy bucks a week or three hundred dollars a month. Really, if you're trying to go through and build your brand and your your market and all that stuff, it's it's not too much. Okay, so then coming down here, we'll just click continue. And at this point, ideally, you've already uploaded that video to your Facebook page. So we're just going to click on use an existing post. And then if you just recently uploaded it, it's just going to be right in here where you can come through and choose it. But if you uploaded a while ago, like I did, this one was back in January 31st. I'm going to select this ID number up here. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come down here and go enter post ID. And paste it in right there and hit submit okay so see how it pulls up the video then I don't have to go recreate the ad inside of Facebook Ads Manager which can kind of sometimes be a pain in the butt and then I'm gonna hit confirm all right so now at this point we've got this going out 10 bucks a day to our Omaha Nebraska market and we're getting people watching that video watching that video watching that video then after about five days or so We've racked up a decent number of people, probably a few hundred people who have actually watched that video. So now what we want to do, so we want to get this done, wait five to seven days, collect some data, and then we want to come over here to audiences, and we want to create a new audience. Okay, we want to create an audience of everyone who has watched that video, at least a certain amount of that video. So we'll click on create an audience, we'll say custom audience, and then we'll come over here to engagement. Okay, these ones I cover on other videos, but this one is engagement. And then we say video. Okay, because they're going to be we're going to be tracking people who've already watched a video. So we say video right there. And then we say okay, people who have viewed. I don't like doing at least three seconds of the video because they could be scrolling through on their news feed, and if the video just auto plays, it could run for three seconds and they're not even paying attention. Okay, so. If you want maximum audience, like maximum reach, I would go for 10 seconds of your video. If you want still a large demographic but a little bit higher quality, then I would go with 25% of your video. Okay, now this branding play, you're really going for the larger masses amount. You want to create a bigger, bigger audience. So usually I like to just go with 10 seconds of your video because you never know. Maybe somebody that watched 11 seconds, they were interested, they didn't watch a full 25%, but they got distracted for some reason, but we still wanna include them. So I'll just do 10, 10 seconds right here. Then we'll say choose videos. So we just come down here, we choose our Facebook page. So let's come down, pick my Facebook page right here. And then same thing, you're just gonna go through and choose whatever the video is that you wanna go through and create the audience of. Okay, now 
If you guys just barely uploaded it, obviously you're gonna be able to have it right here at the very top and you can go through and, and choose that. Now, I'm just gonna choose one. This one has, this one has 50,000 views right here. So I'm just gonna select this one just so you guys can get the idea. But you're gonna be choosing the video like you'd be ideally choosing this video. I've already, I've already done this for my business so and I created the video a while ago so that's why I'm going through and doing this. So um, we've got this one with 50,000. We click on this, we just click confirm, okay? And then we can say everyone who's vi viewed the video in the past 365 days, or you can even say in the last one day, three days, seven days, 30 days, whatever it might be. Now, usually on this branding thing, I don't usually like to do 365 days because if somebody saw my video a full year ago, they probably already forgot, right? Like they probably don't remember me, they probably don't want remember watching that video, so I usually like to go between the seven to 14 day range, okay? Now, if you want a little bit bigger audience, we might go with 14 days. If you're spending a little bit less money, like 10 bucks, five bucks a day, you probably want a more days there because you want more audience, you want more data to work with. And then right here, you can just name it. So viewed 10 seconds of, and then you can just put like the video name, right? So now we're just gonna click on create audience right here. And then we'll sit next, done, all that's done, good to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and create a, well this is, remember this is guys, five to seven days after you launched this initial video view campaign. Okay, now this is big because if you haven't had anybody watch this yet, then you don't have anyone to go remarket and retarget, right? So now, what we're gonna do now that we this is populating, and this could take a couple of hours, could it take up to 24 hours, but I wouldn't worry about that. I would just get right on it. Facebook's gonna automatically populate this and update it for your stuff. So we're gonna come over here, click on audiences, go down to ads manager, and then we're gonna create a new campaign. And so we'll click create a campaign. And for this one, let's just say we're gonna do a small budget so like $5 per day because we have a very small audience most likely because it's the audience of only people who've watched the videos. So because it's a small audience and because we're probably not gonna be getting 15 to 20 plus conversions per week, I'm just gonna run a traffic campaign and then we'll just campaign name, we'll just leave it as is for this demo. And then we're gonna come down here and then I would call this retargeting retargeting uh, video viewers of, you know, name of video, and then say like 10 seconds or something like that. Okay, so that's just the general idea. You can name it whatever you want, whatever, you know, you understand and makes sense to you. And then what we're gonna do is come down here to this custom audience, and we're just gonna choose view 10 seconds video name. This is the audience we just barely created, all right? Now, guys, this is key because so many people, especially now with all the Facebook algorithm updates and they're changing everything and all this stuff and people are going crazy. Guys, this is why like I have never freaked out or never worried about any of this because I don't even use most of the demographic and most of the interest targeting. The more that they change, I don't really use it. I just use this custom data, these custom audiences of people who've already interacted and engaged with my brand, people who've already bought products from me, people who've already opted in as leads, and so with this custom data, all of like the demographics of income and race and gender and all that stuff, it really just doesn't ma matter, okay? So I don't worry about it. If you guys stick to these strategies, it just doesn't matter. And you'll actually see a lot better results because everyone else is using interest in demographic target targeting, okay? So if you're doing what everyone else does, you'll be stuck in that bloodbath. Whereas if you do these strategies that only the top guys are doing, then you'll be able to rise above all of the competition and see a lot better results and also build a lot stronger brand for your business. Okay, so now from here, it's the same concept. You go through, pick your budget, and if you've only got like, let's say 10,000 people who've watched that video in the last, I don't know, the last 14 days, whatever that audience was based off of, I would probably only be spending a couple dollars here. Okay, like maybe two to five dollars. So let's say, three bucks per day that we're spending to go through and um, to market to those people. And once again, if you guys have seen my previous videos, 
when you have such a small audience like 10 to 20 to 30,000, I do like to go through and make the placements recommended automatic because it's going to show up on all the different platforms, all the different places that Facebook can show ads. Whereas when you're going through and marketing to a huge, huge audience, I like to keep it to the Facebook news feed just because that's what I've just seen work best. Right? So then we just hit continue. We go through and create our ad, which my ad looks like this, but obviously this is for webinars. Yours could be for whatever. It could be like a pizza coupon to go into your restaurant. It could be to work with you as a real estate agent. It could be for your dental business and te free teeth whitening or whatever it might be. Then from here, guys, you're just going to come down, hit confirm after you've gone through and create that ad where you're sending them to some sort of landing page like this. And that is how you can go through and cut your cost per lead in half and get those video views for just one penny per video view. Now, obviously, if we're tracking 10 second video views, it's going to be a few pennies. It's going to be a little bit more expensive than just the one cent. But this is the best way to go through and brand your business on Facebook, all right? So basically, a quick recap of what we just went over is we want to first make a story-based video just like this where we're not having any call to action. We're not pushing anyone to buy something, opt into something, click to a website or anything like that. We're just telling people who we are, what we do, why we're in business and how we can help them. Okay. And then you see right here, I'm getting tons of comments, tons of shares, tons of people saying like, Hey, where do you do this? Like asking me about more about my business and it's more of them. It's attraction marketing. I'm attracting them into my world as opposed to like going through and pushing on everyone and just trying to get everyone to come to my world. Right? So we first set this up. We go through, we get a video view campaign spending five, 10 bucks a day or whatever type of budget you've got. If you could do more, do more. I highly recommend it. We're then creating a custom audience of everyone who's watched this video for at least 10 seconds. And then we're creating a retargeting campaign and showing our ads to everyone who has watched this exact video right here for at least 10 seconds. And that is how we are cutting our cost per lead down by literally one half, okay? With a math, like with a great relevance score right here. And it, this is just the most cost effective way. And with 500,000 people in, um, in Omaha, I almost said Ottawa, I was thinking Ottawa, Canada. But in Omaha, you could be going through and, and showing this ad and you're gonna very quickly be seen by everyone in that whole community. Now you might be thinking, well, Jason, what happens when I'm seen by everyone in the community? Well, you can go through and change up the video. Maybe tell a little bit different story. Maybe tell about you know one of the clients that you worked with or someone that you helped. Tell an intriguing story, something that would make somebody intrigued and actually want to work with you. Okay, and then you can swap that video out, change it up, and you can go start over again from there, collecting that new audience, getting that data, and that's how you can go through and build a super, super killer brand, right? Now, guys, if you guys like this video, if you guys found some value, please go give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. When you give it a thumbs up, it helps more people be able to see this type of content and be able to help them with their business as well. Also, once again, if you guys are brand new here to the channel, if you guys have never got my free Facebook ads mini course, just drop a comment down below and I will share that with you guys 100% free covers the Facebook basics of Facebook advertising to help you get started with your business. And also, if you guys are brand new here, make sure you guys subscribe because we launch new videos every single week on how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business. And if you guys are interested in passive income, be sure to check out my brand new blog that just started. Link is in the description down below. It's just jasonwardrop.com. I've only got a couple of posts up so far, but maybe by the time you're watching this video, it's a full-fledged blog that's actually got a lot of posts. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching today. And with that said, I will see you all later.